Today, we're going to be talking about someone who you probably haven't thought about for quite some time, and that individual is Gina Carano. Now, you may remember her from The Mandalorian. She was on seasons one and two, I believe, but after she made some sussy posts on social media, she was subsequently fired. If you don't remember, allow me to refresh your memory. So, The Hollywood Reporter published this article on February 10th of 2021 explaining the situation. They write, Gina Carano will not be returning to the Mandalorian or the Star Wars galaxy after sharing a post on social media implying that being Republican today is like being Jewish during the Holocaust. Yikes. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future, a Lucasfilm spokesperson said in a statement. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Carano has also been dropped as a client by UTA an agency spokesperson confirms. So sometimes you f*** around, sometimes you find out. That's just part of life. Gina Carano certainly found out after f***ing around, but Ben Shapiro decided to swoop in and save the day because just days later, TMZ reported that she signed a movie deal with Ben Shapiro's outlet, The Daily Wire. Now, fast forward a year later to February of 2022, and The Daily Wire officially released its first trailer for their movie starring Gina Carano called Terror on the Prairie, and they announced that it would be releasing in the summer, and it ended up coming out on June 14th, and I can't play the trailer for you, but I'll link to that down below. There's some copyrighted music in it that I think wouldn't allow me to play it, but either way, you can watch the trailer. I've seen it. It looks like dog shit. But either way, they essentially took a victory lap gloating about how they uncanceled Gina Carano. In an article for the Daily Wire titled How the Daily Wire Uncanceled Gina Carano, star of Terror on the Prairie, writer Ben Zeisloff proclaims that last year the Daily Wire promised to uncancel Gina Carano. Today, that promise is fulfilled. And that's really all that you can read from the article because the rest is behind a paywall and best believe I'm not going to be paying to read the rest. So it was a happy ending for Gina Carano after all. She was fired from Disney, but now she's starring in a film for The Daily Wire. And um, now we have the numbers and we know how good that film did. And let me just tell you, that film did real bad. It, <laughs> it did really, really bad. Here's the numbers here. The film Terror on the Prairie by The Daily Wire, according to box office website, The Numbers... Well, it reports here that the film made $804. You heard that right. $800. $800. Look, I'm not the most arrogant person ever, but if I were to put out some movie, I think that Humanist Report followers would more enthusiastically support that film, even if it were objectively dog shit. But either way, $800. This is a former Hollywood actress who went from Star Wars to the Daily Wire where she's making $800. And as I record this video now, I'm realizing that on the poster behind me, one of the stars, I don't know if you can see that, their name is Cowboy Cerrone. That's literally your name. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just realizing that now. Now, listen, this is a very sensitive subject for Gina Carano because somebody pointed out, a pop culture critic who also works for The Hollywood Reporter, pointed out that it was... Pretty funny that this film did so poorly, and she did not take kindly to that. So in response to news that her movie only made $800, Richard Newby writes, I'll never stop laughing at the fact that she could have had her own Star Wars series, toys, books, comics, apparel. She was that close. She didn't just fumble the bag. She dumped it out, put it over her head, and cut off her air supply. <laughs> Now, he didn't at her on Twitter, but somehow she still saw that, and of course she responded saying, Here is a contributor of THR, not the Humanist Report, by the way, the Hollywood Reporter, who repeatedly joins in an online mob of mostly anonymous accounts harassing me. She's accusing him of harassment. Are you aware that we released Terror on the Prairie exclusively on The Real Daily Wire, and you didn't know that? Or are ignorance and spreading hate your only... Or is spreading 
spreading ignorance and hate your only purpose here. I think that's what she's saying. She continues, I didn't fumble the bag. I just didn't go along with the sellout narrative. The online mob couldn't handle that. So they petitioned to have me fired and won. I'm not sorry for that. I stood for what I believe the right thing to do was. And the more time that goes by, the better I feel, sure. The genuine bag fumble is sellout journalists like you who sold out America and stopped asking questions to be liked by a fickle, manipulated mob. That is what you valued, and that will be your legacy. Now, we're going to get to Newbie's response here, but I just have to cut in and say that it's not a sellout narrative to think that Republicans today aren't treated as poorly as Jewish people were during the Holocaust, because that's just wrong and imbecilic. So I don't know how she... I guess she's trying to pretend as if she was sub subversive and being counterculture by making an idiotic statement. But no, you just made a statement that was deeply idiotic and you got canceled for it. Move on. But she's not going to move on. Now, Nubi responded saying, it can't be harassment when I'm not tweeting at you, Gina. Name search at your own discretion. I don't care about whatever nonsense Ben Shapiro is pushing out. But please, I'd love to hear more from you about hatred and ignorance. Sounds like you've got a great grip on it. Now, he shared something that she retweeted from Blair White, a transgender conservative akin to Dave Rubin, who uses her identity to legitimize right-wing lies about their own community. Now, this particular tweet that she shared shared is spreading the lie that queer people want to groom children. Now, she wrote back to him saying, retweeting a trans person, Miss Blair White, saying, I have no problem with drag shows or sex changes and just want to make sure children are being protected is hateful. He responded saying, we're not going to play these stupid games, Gina, and pretend this whole protect the children business when the LGBTQ community has never put anyone at risk is anything more than a right-wing tactic to deny people their rights. Finally, she responded by saying, no one is pretending. Parents across America are concerned for their children. I don't even have children, and I'm concerned for them. The stupid games being played are by journalists like you who do not take their concerns seriously and at least have genuine dialogue with them. And at that point, I believe that their communication ended after he blocked her. Now, as you can see, she is deeply insecure about her current career place and i would be too if i were her she went from probably a multi-million dollar contract with disney to doing movies that make 800 dollars at the daily wire i don't care who you are that's got a sting so you can tell she's very very sensitive about this and she's so sensitive that she's searching for criticism, actively so. And when she finds said criticism, she's saying that they're harassing her for criticizing her. I don't think it works that way, but either way, don't talk about this movie. Otherwise, she's going to come after you. Hell, she might see this, uh, see this video. I hope she doesn't because I'm afraid that she's going to beat me up. Either way, she doesn't want you to talk about this. And honestly, I can't blame her. I feel your pain, Gina Carano. Just maybe like don't say stupid things next time. But... The video doesn't end here because I saved the best part for last. So her co-star decided to chime in here and come to her defense. And no, I'm not talking about Cowboy Cerrone. I'm talking about the other one. So Mediaite reports, Terror on the Prairie co-star Nick Searcy told Mediaite he's already blocked by newbie and minced no words when defending Carano. Quote, all of these Hollywood parasites can kiss my whole ass and bark at the hole. <laughs> <laughs> and you can quote me, the filmmaker said, I would rather stand with Gina Carano than any of those group think worms. <laughs> First of all, I'm laughing because as I was reading that, I almost called her Gina Carano. <laughs> and then on top of that, his comment threw me off. All these Hollywood parasites can kiss my whole ass and bark at them. And bark at the hole. Am I missing something here? I've never heard somebody say that. They can kiss my whole ass and bark at the hole. Are you literally saying that they can bark at your butthole? <laughs> I mean, comment down below. Am I am I just out of the loop here? Is this something that people say? You can bark at my butthole after you kiss it. I just wow, that one that one got to me there. I'm crying almost. So there you have it. Gina Carano's movie flopped, and she's really sensitive about that. So don't talk about it. Even if you're not adding her, don't you dare bring it up because she will search 
out your criticism, accuse you of harassment, and then debate you about whether or not LGBTQ plus people are grooming children. This is a very silly world that we live in, and I'm just so happy that it's as entertaining as it is at a minimum. Because sure, things could be better. We could live in a functioning democracy with healthcare and equal rights. But I mean, at least we get this entertainment, right? At a minimum, we're entertained. Are you not entertained? I'm pretty entertained by this. So yeah, um, look, I watched Terror on the Prairie, and it was it was so good. I, I'm sad that it failed. I can't even say it with a straight face. Of course, I didn't watch it. Um, but if you did watch it, let me know. Uh, was it good? The trailer made it look very boring and, and bad, but either way, um, I do feel bad for Gina Carano. I've got to admit that. Even if this was kind of her own fault and her hot takes are really too hot, I mean, all of this could have been avoided if she just didn't say deeply stupid and offensive things. So either way live and learn or don't learn either way love this story up yours up yours up yours sons of bitches 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 woke moralist woke moralist woke moralist i dreamed i saw my maternal grandmother she was stroking herself absentmindedly i let her have her way the genital region was exposed i let her have her way